they actually uh, draw back and step back and change their attitude of how they are looking for votes and change their attitude towards leadership whereby they are not looking for leadership just because of the power they will get or the possibilities of amassing wealth or doing business that they will get, but they are doing it truly moved by service. Yeah. When we start creating a new crop of leaders, we're still in good time to do so. Okay. So my think is, yes, we are still in good time for fair elections, free elections, uh, and all those other uh, prophets of doom, uh, I think it's for us Kenyans to prove them wrong. Okay. Archbishop, there are so many questions coming through for you. Let me try and squeeze in a few of them because you only have about five minutes left. Please, yeah. please. Um, Dr. Thank you. Direct, uh, he calls himself Elias Kiprop. says, why didn't he allow Kalonzo to even say hi, despite having been the vice president of Kibaki during the time as you're, you were emceeing the event? I think uh, one is uh, to say that uh, the family of the late president uh, had expressly said they didn't want any political speeches. In fact, the tributes were meant to be even less than the ones that were there. So we wanted to respect that. Uh, we gave, I think, a very worthy send-off to our president, Mwai Kibaki, uh, as a country. Let us not say just the people who are involved directly. I think we gave him a very worthy send-off. Like he would wish as a tremendously good reader. And so uh, there may be things that we could have done better. Yes, I accept. Yeah. Uh, there are things we could have accommodated more. But within the realm of the wish of the family and the wish of the religious right to go as was, uh, we had to forego certain things that surely. Uh, maybe some people would feel were uh, amiss, uh, but uh, let us be honest, uh, we tried our best okay. in the circumstances yeah. to honor our president. There are many people who are commending how you handled the young man in Nyayo National Stadium when he tried to break protocol. What, what was running through your mind yes. when there was a breach of security and what prompted you to handle him with that sort of care when the security apparatus had already pounced on him? I, one of the things is to say, I thank God because God gives you the grace and inspiration of the moment. I didn't do that because of any plan. It was just the instinctive reaction. Uh, but the young man, as soon as I looked at him, I saw he was a man who was uh, agitated, uh, maybe a bit deranged, but uh, not a person who was a threat, not a person who was coming there for evil. And so I thought he also needed the consolation or at least, uh, and this should happen for any of us. That's a Christian thing to do, but also it should be the normal thing. We are a bit surprised that we should do that. And that is the surprising thing that Kenyans or even the Christians should find that strange or odd. Uh, how I pray that the, we can have more of this uh, moment opportunities to actually extend uh, a sign of mercy and care to people who uh, come without any preparation. But I do pray that this young man to uh, someone who attend to him uh, and uh, address, I think, uh, deeper issues that are there. Yeah. During COVID, we were able to manage very many people with mental issues and difficulties. And at times, it's sad that we often just pass them by and don't yeah. do anything uh, and don't show them even the little care. So I think it was just God's help. And All I right. thank God that we were able to take care of him. All right, Archbishop, as we wind up on this, what is your message to the leaders who are watching you this evening and to Kenyans who are going to go to the polls in 99 days? I think the, I would like once more to call to all leaders that uh, it's a time for a new uh, style of leadership, of attitude, of really uh, accommodation, of listening to one another and of uh, not of confrontation. It's not the mud that we apply to another that will make us more popular. Let's clean our faces and show our faces as they are to the people. Be authentic. Uh, and if you lose, that's fine. You have another chance. It's not a do or die. So leaders, let us go into this competition with a feeling of competition, not a feeling of confrontation. It is not uh, that you must 
necessarily put down your competitor. No, you just need to sell yourself to the people. Secondly, our nation is bigger than any one of you and any one of us. Let us not put me at the center. Let's put the Kenyan at the center of the discussion. Let us think about the real issues affecting Kenyans. Let us not speak about the issues that Im I will gain in the coming elections. So the Kenyans, it's a wake-up call of our conscience that uh, we have an opportunity, but the opportunity must be that we must uh, address directly the issue that my vote will not be compromised. I'll vote for what I think the person I think will be a good leader. At times it will not be the best leader, but you try to do the, the, the best of the choices you have. And we Kenyans must also think about nurturing our leadership capacities of service capacity. I pray that uh, even though we may not have perfect leaders, uh, we will be moving towards better leaders. And in a new crop, we have leaders of the style of uh, Mwai Kibaki, uh, right. leaders who are selfless, uh, leaders who are humble. Right. Humility, respect, honesty. And as we said, let's really sanitize our mouths okay. so that the toxicity can reduce in right. our insults. I'm sure God has great, great expectations for our nation. I pray and we are very hopeful. All right. May Archbishop, would you, would you consider running for president? Certainly not. I am running for bishop. <laughs> and uh, we are serving the people of God in much bigger ways than any of those political. Uh, we've also, if it wasn't for the service to church, uh, even the leaders will have nowhere to stand. All right. Thank you so much for making time for us. Archbishop Anthony Muhere of the Archdiocese of Nyeri. Asante sana for speaking God bless you, Trevor. Thank you. Let's take a quick break here on the Monday Report. When we come back, we still have a lot more lined up for you. Don't go too far.